Visit the park of tomorrow today. So we'll come through the turnstiles. I'm not sure what's going on with me today. I'm very sorry. I'm having a bit of a weird five minutes. Let's just uh, get into this park, shall we? It's Matt coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the video and welcome to Thompson Park, created by Sausagette. Now, today's park was created on a PlayStation 4. And as always, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave subscribe if you are new. And if you would like to have your park spotlighted, then the Iron Gamers Discord link, the Iron Gamers, will be up in that top corner right now. So the description for this park is probably as big as the actual park itself. So here we go, big deep breath. An ambitious and futuristic 1970s gardens left neglected in the heart of Gloucestershire, revived and reimagined into a sleek modern theme park. After the original architect and designer David Thompson abandoned the project, the park was left abandoned until 2007 when the sons of David, Harry and son Thompson purchased the land with a vision of converting the park into a theme park. Initially installing a Zevria Tivolia? I've so said that wrong. Only a few months into their ownership, the two visionaries were then quick to purchase two new Intamins, Rave 360, an Intamin Zaxpin, and Zatan, an Intamin Accelerator. The park continued to invest in flat rides and new buildings before their next big investment, a B&M flying coaster named Oasis. Only a few years later, the park went on to purchase B&M hypercoaster named Talos. This stands as the most recent investment today, I hope you enjoy looking around this park as much as I enjoyed creating it. Oh my days, that description. It took me about 10 minutes to read that. Thanks for that. But really, really excited to get into this beautiful little park. So without further ado, let's hop in and have a look around, shall we? Right, so here we are at the park entrance. Now it's funny that the last spotlighted I commented that it's been a long time since I've looked at a PlayStation 4 park. And now we've got two back to back. Look at this entranceway. It's so beautiful with the rock work and the foliage. Oh, and on the day of actual release of this video, which would have been Friday, October the 20th, it's actually Sausagette's birthday, so happy birthday. I mean, that means I've got to do one thing clearly, doesn't it? Here we go. Happy birthday to you. I'm so sorry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sausagette, which I'm probably still saying wrong, I'm very sorry. Happy birthday to you. Everybody's already turned off by now, haven't they? For the ones who are still remaining here, this is a beautiful park, don't go away. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Oh, I love this. It's just, in the description, it said it wanted to be a sleek and modern park, and... You've just absolutely nailed it. You could see that from the cinematics alone. It looks really eco, really like conservational. Is that a word? Is conservational a word? I'm not sure. I'm going with it. I think it is. It looks like a park of the future today. I could see that being like the branding for this park. Visit the park of tomorrow today. So we'll come through the turnstiles. I'm not sure what's going on with me today. I'm very sorry. I'm having a bit of a weird five minutes. Let's just uh, get into this park, shall we? So we've got this big, like, sphere monument here. Love that. All the ambience with all the birds singing and then the music, which you'd probably be able to hear if I wasn't talking so much. There you go. You could hear it for a second there really like that and then of course just that shot looking over this building oh it's so visually stunning it's just beautiful it looks so clean so modern quite futuristic and you've got a Vacoma family coaster there you can see the B&M wing coaster off in the distance you've got the Interman uh, that was the Intamin Zack, wasn't it? 
So I don't believe that one actually works. But we'll have a look at that later on. We'll work our way around to that. I like what you've done with the pathing here. There is a little bit of Z fighting just with the clipping. But I think that's just a little bit inevitable with the way that you've done the path. But it still looks fantastic. It, it's pulled off really well. And then of course all the foliage over the top of here once again. Looking very green, very eco. You've got the shops in there. And then of course the first flat ride over here pos i'm not sure what pos stands for when it comes to plane i thought that was point of sale but i don't think that's got anything to do with planes you'll have to let me know on that one right and let's work our way around over this bridge so i can see the interman launch i believe that is right in front of us and the whole park is set on this, I'm assuming, what must be a man-made island. You would assume. I really, really like this. I love how you can see the coasters from everywhere. You can just pretty much see like all the coasters in the park from this one area. Is that still the B&M launch? I believe it is, so that's quite a big coaster. From the looks of it. Let's walk down here. We've got the ventilation just on the side of the building. Great use of wooden beams and then the glass and the ivy. Just in that building there. Just as the coaster goes over the top of us. And then we've got some more food and drink just inside here. Maybe like a little bit plain in here. But... That being said, you do have to remember that this is a PlayStation 4 park. And it already goes over the limit of a PlayStation 4. So he's clearly used the glitch in this park to be able to complete his, uh, like his vision. Really excited for Sausage Jet to get a PS5 to see what he'd be able to like kind of bring to this. And just as other parks also that he's done in the past because he's such a talented creator. We do have a tree, unfortunately, clipping through the shop. We just, we're just going to pretend that we didn't see that. Nobody saw a thing, all right? What is this? Angela's Kitchen. Oh, oh there you go. It's a restaurant. I had to go and have a look because, of course, the, the seating upstairs, which we'll go and have a look at in a second. I really like the music. Just really sets the scene for this park. Just that tranquil, peaceful park. Like bringing the thrills and highs of a theme park and that adrenaline. But also their moments of tranquility and peace and calm. And bringing them together with the architectural style and like obviously the theme park itself. And it works really well. Am I overthinking this? Most likely. Let's go up the stairs. See, I'd love to just sit up here with my sandwiches. I'm not going to Angela's Kitchen. I'm just going to bring a packed lunch with me. Sit here with my ham sandwich and my Jaffa cakes. And of course, a can of Fanta, because of course. What is the matter with me today? I am so sorry. I honestly don't know what's going on. I'm just having a weird day. A really bizarre day. Can you not actually get through there? I'm not sure. Is there another path up here, maybe? Maybe from the other side. I'm not sure that I'm supposed to have gone through the glass there. Maybe there's a access point over here, but I'm going to carry on coming across anyway, just to have a quick look. So you've got some more food and drink over here also. Ah, there's a path there, look. Right, I've got you. And then, of course, you can just look out from over here. Look at that shot. This park is a thing of beauty. We're just going to break through the glass again. Nobody saw a thing. Right, let's go downstairs. So it is a very small park, this one. A small park, but with quite a lot of coasters to go on. So it's going to be one of them where we have a look around and then we're going from coaster to coaster to coaster.
It almost gives me a little bit of Planet Zoo vibes. It actually looks like a reptile house or something like that from a zoo. When we do get Planet Zoo console edition, Sasuke is going to be one of them players, one of them creators who is just going to create the most mind-blowing zoos you've ever seen with his style and how he builds come through here so these will be the stairs that will take us upstairs and rather than go over here which will take us towards the B&M coaster what feature um, I'm gonna work my way over towards Zaten which was the Interman Accelerator coaster so this pink coaster here that we've been able to see whizzing around oh look how it goes underground there look And all of the rides in the park are custom supported as well. Every single one is custom supported, which that takes a lot of dedication. And again, for a previous gen park to have custom supported all of your coasters is insane. I love this view from the back of the building here, just looking over there. And then all the foliage just waking up, stepping up right there. You've got like an air traffic control building right there. Well, let's have a walk down this queue line, shall we? Maybe would have just been nice with a little bit of paint tool just to bring this path in just slightly, just so you can't see them horrible gaps. What is this? What is that wall texture? Oh, it's the temple block, but you've changed it to like a blue and a grey. I couldn't work out what the wall piece was. Very unique colour. Have I deselected the building? Yes, I have. I thought I'd still... Because it's like kind of got that blue tint to it, I thought I'd still got the building selected. So there is just that little bit of clipping around in certain places, which is a shame. If you do have that clipping, sometimes what you can do is, if you just move it just a fraction, it means you would have to separate it from the building, but then, like, kind of just move it like a fraction, it will stop that Z fighting and that clipping. So we come up to the station. And I'm really excited to go on this. So, first ride of the park, let's do it, enjoy! Once again, Matty's coaster knowledge just absolutely blowing people away, as per usual. As we've been walking around the park, I've been saying, yeah, there's the Interman launch coaster. That's going to be the first one that we go on. Well, that is the Interman launch. That is the Giga coaster. So, yeah, I got them two mixed up, clearly. But, yeah, coming back to this coaster, yeah, really, really nice coaster. Did exactly what it needed to. Very smooth. I really like the transfer track that you put over here. Just the little details that you put around it with the electric generators underneath and everything. You've got the little bits of backstage just down here. Yeah, really good coaster. I enjoyed that. So, let's hop out the exit and we'll work over towards the Giga coaster then. Not what I've been saying. What is this here? What what What's going on here? Why are people walking? Oh, okay. We'll ignore that. We'll ignore that. There's just people walking through the wall. Right, so how do we get over there then? I think we go back this way. This is one of them spotlights that I feel is falling apart already. It may only be 15 minutes in, but it's falling apart. We'll be fine. We'll plough on. We're okay. We can do this. It's a small park. I can do it. Look at this. It's 
there's the B&M wing coaster. That, that is definitely a B&M wing coaster. I know that. And then you've got the family coaster just over there. That's about to come past us by the looks of it. If I just hang here just for a second. That looks fantastic. Love what you've done here with the trench that it runs around. But anyway, that's not where we were heading. We were heading towards the Giga Coaster. So, right. We'll come up the stairs. So, Talos. That was the Giga Coaster. That's what was in the description. It's okay. I'm all caught back up again now. It's okay. Do you know what would have been nice? I just saw them people sat there on that bench. Do you know what would have been quite cool? If you'd hidden the benches in the bits of wall here because i don't believe in a park such as this guests are going to sit on the benches they're just going to sit on this wall wherever there's a space they're just going to sit on the wall so i think if you'd hidden benches inside there it would have looked quite cool to see the guests just sat on the wall again i'm overthinking it well let's have a walk down here so you've got the what looks like an air style air traffic control style building then we'll come down here Really like the design of this, how it drops down at levels. And of course, all the supports are holding it in place. And this is a park right up my alley, isn't it? Look at the amount of water and foliage. Loving this. All right, here we go. So this was the newest attraction of the park, I believe, from the description. So let's hop on this Giga Coaster. Enjoy, everybody. That was my favourite Giga Coaster that I've been on this year in a spotlight. I think that was absolutely sensational. Even from the very first drop, I loved it. I loved the subtle angle that it dropped. So you come up that lift hill right there, and then just as you drop down here, it's not a vertical drop straight down. It just pivots ever so slightly to the right and i think it adds a real different dynamic to that first drop the rest of the ride it just kept up a brilliant momentum all the way around it was super smooth i've always been a big fan of your coaster work and once again just delivering yeah absolutely fantastic great job love that right so let's go and find the exit which is just there and up we come now that's the that's the entrance what is this then ah that's a maintenance access right okay we'll go and have a look at that so just as the b&m wing coaster is just above us so even though the fact that this is a last gen park you've still put all of the access points in the the transfer tracks just thinking of that realism 
again i'm excited for you to get a next gen console to see what you're able to do with that extra percentage because of course you've got the transfer tracks there just for the giga coaster you've got a transfer track just down here for the wing coaster we'll come back up here and we'll head towards the queue line for that one so that is oasis We'll go to that in a second. I just want to have a look around here. Oh, the wing coaster actually comes right past you as you're sat inside here. We're going to be lucky and see it come past as we're here. I think we might be. There we go. Right, let's start heading towards that, shall we? So we have Wave the Hammer Ride. I really like the openness of this area. We feel quite high up. This is the highest point of the park, but it gives quite a good shot over there. And like at all ways you face, you can see the wing coaster. Kind of getting a little bit of Galactica vibes from Alden Towers in this area just how predominant the ride is how you can see it going around you how it goes over the pathing i wonder if that's what the inspiration was with this ride well let's have a walk down the queue line so we're going to be ending the spotlight on a kiddie coaster which is quite unusual normally i save like the big coasters till the end not today we're going to save a kiddie coaster for the end Yeah. Oh, move out the way, people. Watch out. Oh, that is cool. So, Oasis Departures. Flights to Oasis from just... How much? 7,835,764 pound and 75 pence. Paradise is just one click away. Book your next flight now for a 0.02% discount. I mean, that's a bargain. I really would get right on that. <laughs> You've got, like, kind of the gates and everything. This is very clever, very original. And we've got the Oasis Airlines. Where is the queue? There we go. So we come in here, and you actually go in to the Airbus or the Airlines. That's fantastic. What a great idea. Really clever idea. Right, let's come through into the station. So let's hop on for a ride, shall we? Enjoy, everybody.
I'm pretty sure that throughout this entire spotlight, I've been calling that a B&M wind coaster. I'm pretty sure I've said that every single time, when clearly it's a B&M flying coaster, and I'm now sat here regretting my life choices. But, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Not the easiest of coasters to build, because the momentum on the flying coasters is so difficult to get right. Get them smooth all the way around keep up that momentum with the inversions as well keeping them smooth making sure that they do go around at a nice pace and i think you absolutely smashed it i think it was absolutely brilliant the inversions were all done fantastic all really smooth throughout i really really enjoyed it yep great job once again but right where is the exits there is the exit i like how the transfer track almost looks like a second loading station so just over here and you got another car just on there and up we come out the exit and let's work our way down towards the final coaster of the park which i think in everybody's best interest is probably for the best because i'm having one of them days i won't be recording another spotlight today don't worry Right, let's come down here. I like the choice of time of day. So the time is locked at 4pm. And it casts some really nice lights and shadows across the park as you're looking at it. So Thunderdell is the last guy in the park. So of course we've got the Interman right in front of us that's not actually functional just because of the way that you've designed it. So I believe you've actually used the Giga Track to do that. Of course that bridge is beautiful as well. I should touch upon that. I really, really like that bridge. But what would, how did you actually create this? So yes, using the Giga Track. That is fantastic. Love that. But right. I'll have a look at that in a little bit more detail in a second. So we'll work our way towards Thunderdell, the final functional coaster of the park. So let's hop on. Enjoy, everybody. That was a perfect little ride to end the spotlight on. I really, really enjoyed that. And it didn't seem to follow the same normal formula or pattern or layout that a Vekoma family coaster would normally follow. Just the way that it's going around the water and everything, it had quite a expansive layout, which you don't normally find with these family coasters. They're norm normally a lot more compact than what this one is and then of course the way that it comes back through and interacts with the station itself just clipping through there i really liked that yeah great great coaster thoroughly enjoyed that and of course it was really smooth throughout once again just like all the other rides but yeah i do absolutely love this coaster that you've done here i wish it was actually working because that is sensational Imagine if that was working, how cool it would look. Maybe in Planet Coaster 2, possibly? Maybe? We'll see. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But, right. And what a park this has been. I've absolutely loved this park. It genuinely has felt like a park of the future. Just with how modern and 
clean everything is, how crisp it all comes together. But we do need to have a quick look at this park at night just before we close out this spotlight. So let's zoom back up here and let's just swap that tonight quickly. And I think it would have been quite easy to forgive you for not doing lighting in this park. With it being a last gen park, with you already using the glitch to go over the limit, having no lighting in this park would have been very, very forgivable. But you've still done it and it works really well. So all the main street is all lit up. I'm going right here. What is going on? breaking my own rules but well, everything's just lit up beautifully the subtle pinks and the purples with the yellows as well all comes together really well just a fantastic park from start to finish i've loved every single coaster they've all been absolutely brilliant the layout of the park it was quite small quite compact nice and easy to work your way around it was fantastic just a great job once again sausage you never disappoint with your parks you never have done so far yeah great job really really enjoyed this one you're gonna have to let me all know down below in the comments what you all think have you all enjoyed this park as well i'm sure you all have but i'll be back in a couple of days for another planet coaster spotlight i will see you all then take care stay safe look after yourselves and see you all very very soon and sausage happy birthday buddy bye